Well, hi everyone. Good morning. Well, we're getting to the end of our devotionals on Jesus' 12 disciples. This morning, I want to make some comment on Judas, son of James. Now, this is not Judas Iscariot. That's a different disciple. Remember, he got up to all sorts of nonsense. But Judas, that we're speaking about this morning, son of James, he was also known as Jude, Thaddeus, and Labaius. And like so many of Jesus' disciples, we almost know nothing about him. Now, it would seem like most of the 12 disciples left no legacy behind. Now, that word seems to be a catchphrase these days, doesn't it? What legacy are you leaving behind? But now, if you think about it, if you think about the legacy they left behind, it was a church that would go on to reach hundreds of millions of people. We always think of Paul when we talk about planting churches, but all the disciples were church planters. How do we know? Because when you preach the gospel and people are saved and the Holy Spirit comes to dwell with them, a fellowship of believers is going to gather together. Sometimes we think of legacy for the next generation. But in the kingdom of God, legacy goes much further than that. And what's more, it's very seldom got to do with wealth or achievements in life. Legacy as a believer has everything to do with extending God's kingdom. Now, a few days ago, I was blessed to receive another granddaughter. And I know what you're thinking. I'm very young to be a grandfather. <laughs> hey, but you know what immediately came to mind, immediately to my prayers, the very next morning. This is what I prayed. Lord, I pray I get to see her surrender her life to you one day as Lord and Savior. And if I can get to be part of that, I will be overjoyed. Now, there's a legacy you and I can leave as, as parents and grandparents. And what a legacy that is. Amen. Well, I trust you're going to have a great day. May God bless you. And I look forward to speaking to you again tomorrow morning.